is Jenna from Scribbling Grace. I am doing a Bible journaling page today, painting some bricks and um, with acrylic paints. And this is my ESV interleave journaling Bible, which has the full blank page to work on. But you could easily take this idea and completely make it your own in whatever Bible or journal you have handy. So I'm starting off by just penciling in um, a really basic brick pattern and um, I am just eyeballing it. So if you want to make sure that you have all your bricks um, the same, you can of course use a ruler, but um, I'm just going to eyeball it here today. So I will um, list the names of the colors that I'm using. I'm just using some brown colors, so a dark brown and a light brown um, of my Apple Barrel acrylic paints. And um, I'm just going to start going in with each of my little boxes that I just penciled out and just kind of dabbing the paints around. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking one color and uh, dabbing it around a little bit and then adding the next color in so there's kind of different um, tones to each brick. And this is kind of a slower way to do this. You could, of course, just paint the whole page first and then just go in with your white for the grout or the mortar later. But I decided I wanted each brick to look a little bit different. So I wanted to have control over what each brick looked like. So that's why I decided to do one brick at a time. You can see this is real time. So I'm just taking my paintbrush and this is a small filbert. I think is how you pronounce it, paintbrush. It's basically like a flat paintbrush, but with a rounded top. Um, and a flat paintbrush would probably work as well. Um, I started by using a round paintbrush, and that was a little bit harder to use. So I would say either use a filbert if you have it, or a flat paintbrush to um, do these bricks. And um, you can also see I'm not, um, I've mixed a couple different tones with my, I also have a white, um, it's actually an off-white, it's called Antique Parchment, and I kind of mix that together with my light brown to create a third tone of brown there. So I'm just kind of um, dipping my paint in those, or my brush in those paints, and then just dabbing it around um, until the different colors kind of blend just a little bit together. Um, and I think that it turned out really fun. So um, it's uh, <laughs> something that I just want to encourage you to just have fun with. Um, and the getting the colors to blend might take a little bit of practice, but I think it's also a really forgiving thing. And if you end up with um, kind of the same tones, if you blended it maybe too much, I think it'll still look really pretty. And of course, you can also totally change up the colors that you use, add in some reds maybe, or do um, something really funky with like blues or something, you know. Um, I encourage you to have so much fun with this. And... Um, so the verse that I'm working on, by the way, is um, Proverbs 16, verse 3, which says, Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Um, so I thought that this was kind of a good way to establish working for the Lord, building up these bricks one at a time um, and establishing our plans, or establishing our wall of bricks, maybe, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, uh Again, I'm just, this was a little bit of a slow process doing each brick individually, but you can totally do, just paint the whole page and then add in your mortar, which you'll see me do in just a second. But um, I, again, I'm also using my NIV uh, interleave journaling Bible, but if you only have like a smaller journaling Bible, just uh, scale it down, maybe use a smaller paintbrush and you can still totally do something similar and um, maybe with less bricks, but it'll still give you the same idea. So I encourage you to have fun with this idea if you want to. Um, so now I'm adding some pure white, but I didn't want to just paint with, uh, make this mortar or this grout pure white. So I mixed it with a little bit of that antique white and um, got this nice creamy white color. And I'm just taking my round brush now and just dabbing it <laughs> in um, all those white spaces. And I kind of wanted it to look a little bit messy. So I'm kind of, I'm not trying to make these perfectly straight lines. I'm kind of letting the paint um, be, a, have like a little bit bigger sections and uh, maybe those lines are a little bit wobbly, if you want to say, um, just because I wanted it to look like it's this really organic looking brick. Um, but again, if you would rather have a more structured brick and you want just the straight lines, you can totally do that as well. 
I also added a little bit of splatter, just um, splattering it with my finger um, with that same white color, just a little touch, and you can't really see it from this view, but it just added a little something extra to make it, again, f feel a little more organic. So now I'm adding my lettering, my brush calligraphy today, and I penciled it out beforehand, and now I'm just using my Tombow Funosuke brush pen to do some brush calligraphy. So basically, anytime my pen is going upwards, I'm applying very little pressure just so I get a nice thin mark. Whenever my pen is moving downward, I apply pressure, and that gives me a nice thicker um mark or downstroke and I do have a bunch of calligraphy tutorials or older ones I'll have to do an updated calligraphy tutorial one of these days but um, I will link those in the description below so you can check those out this would be um, considered bounce calligraphy style so um, you can check out that tutorial but if you're a beginner start with either the faux calligraphy or the brush pen calligraphy tutorial Okay, so um, again, then I just added my little date, and since this is in my Bible that I'm doing for my son, Clark, I always write out a prayer at the bottom of the page, but today I just decided to cut off the video so I could just keep that prayer a little bit private for him, and um, I also am fixing up some of my lines because, believe it or not, <laughs> I don't always get things perfect the first time around with doing calligraphy, so I just fix those up at the end. And voila, I'm really happy with how this page turned out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, um, sure to check out the links in that description below as well. All right, much love, many blessings. Bye.